Louisiana Beer Reviews, Zateki Zvetli Lizak, Premium Pale Lager Beer, 5% alcohol, 19 international bitterness units. This is a beer from Poland, <coughs> and this was sent to me by Doug. Look at this pretty, pretty label, and the back's got hops, hops on the front. There's a barrel on the shield, barley, hops. Over 650 years of cultivation tradition, the experience of local hops and unique microclimate give the aromatic hops an extraordinary character. Experience the fullness of its aroma in Zateki Svet Lizak. The recipe which was created by Thomas Lizak from Zatek Brewery. Store in a cool place, taste best when chilled at a temperature of 48 degrees Celsius. That means pretty cold. I do believe. Water, barley malt, bitter hops, aromatic Zateki hops, or Saz hops, I think that is. Brewed on. Now, here, here to. Thanks once again, Douglas. Brewed under the supervision of Zateki Pivovar in Okochim Brewery in Poland. So it's, it's, a, it's a Slovakian company, but this is brewed under supervision for them by Carlsberg Group, Group Carlsberg Group, who owns Okochim Brewery. I can't figure out this. Okay. What is this? A 500 milliliter can. Eurolickers.com. I'm going to look that up. Eurolickers.com. Eurolicker, Schaumburg, Illinois. Made in Poland. Okay. Sixteen point nine ounces. Pretty exciting. This is the first English language review for this product in the world. It was the same. It was the same with that Samson 1795. I found a bunch of reviews just like for this, but they're in uh, Eastern European languages. So I can't understand what they're saying. I guess you could tell by if they're going, Ugh, or wow, ooh, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, thick off white head. Now we got clouds. It was clear. Well, it's better to have clouds. It was getting kind of warm on this December day. Um, slightly hazy, believe it or not. Yeah, quite hazy, bubbly. So it's like powdery sediment. So not the clearest beer in the world, and it's golden. All right. Smells clean. Now. A relatively clean. Now the um, the Samson 1795 that was such a strong aroma of soda cracker. This one is more of just like barley malt, like but still wonderful bread and those grassy hops. 19 IBUs. Whew, it's going to be great. Now, rapier, they hate it. They're giving it like a 19 out of 100. And I was saying that with the um, Samson 1795. I was saying they gave it a 26. It was actually, they gave it a 16 out of 100 and a 26 in the style. <laughs> now, Beer Advocate doesn't have this rated. They don't have enough scores, and it's it's like a 57 on untapped, so they're not too thrilled with it. These Euro lagers are just like liquid gold. They're so much better than American beers. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. I meant to say some people might make that contention. <laughs> oh, but man, no joke. I've been having so many overpriced ales that are unfiltered. Got every kind of flavoring in them, every kind of barrel aging, every kind of gimmick this, gimmick that. They're fine. I mean, some of them are in, most of them are into the 90s, you know what I'm saying, but um, <laughs> even one was 100, but it was 16.99 for 500 milliliters. Sixteen ninety nine. 
for 500 milliliters. Uh, no sort of value, and it didn't taste any different than the non-cherry wood aged. So I said, you know, I could get the regular one for four dollars cheaper, and it'd be a hundred. But medium-bodied, crisp finish, grassy hops throughout, flawless, really. Um, I'm not ripping on all the craft beer flavored concoction party balloon beers. I'm not. I drink them. I like to buy them. I just bought one today. Uh, uh, an eight percent stout brewed with I don't know chocolate, chili peppers, oregano, avocado, artichoke hearts, basil, thyme, vanilla beans. Rum extra, I don't know what it is, you know, I'm just kidding around, but that kind of thing. And will I like it? More than likely. And I'll give it a high score, and I paid $3.99 a can. Now, I don't know what this costs, okay? But I'm going to take a guess. You could probably get this at these New Jersey, um, where he goes, Douglas, because I, I can't get them around here, but uh, I can get some of these. I'll give you an example. I got the Veltons from Germany, which whips most of the things I'm sort of ridiculing as a pure beer product, not a, a fun and games product. Um, and that was $7.99 for four of these. So that's what I'm talking about. This is probably the same, like $8.99 for four of these. Instead of $3.99 or $4.99 for one can, enough's enough. So when you want to get back to basics, like you say, oh, you mean what the purest want? That kind of thing, you know. Um, no adjuncts, no um, no funny animal labels, nothing about the devil, no communist iconography, no like uh, pun stuff. Just ser like a serious company that's got a serious label and they're making serious beer. And they're not trying to cover anything up. It's fabulous, and I'm going to give it a good score. Let's see. Here's the sun. See what it means? Gonna, this beer is going to warm up too quickly. To go, go on right here and see that they're giving this a 16 out of 100 is an atrocity of mankind. It's got a little lemony note. It's not the best Euro lager, but it's so... It's just so much better than a lot of stuff I drink. Most stuff, most stuff I drink. And some of those will score higher than this just because, well, they got the chocolate fudge and the artificial fudge coffee flavor and all that jacks up the, um, you know, the amusement park ride. But this is still going to be a 93 without all the, um, you know, Without all the CGI, you know, this was drawn by hand. It wasn't computer generated. It's real art. <laughs> um, 93 out of 100, 9.3 out of 10. Keep up the good work, Poland. So, lazy, les bon temps, relate. And um, I don't know what you think I'm being too harsh on all this stuff because you know I'm going to be reviewing it endlessly, I guess, God willing. So, um, just saying, if you ask me what's the best to get, it's these. These are the best to get. And I got another one coming, and it's going to be awesome. Y'all go to Poland and tour the Okochim Brewery.